All right, this is John Cullen with OKRod.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. Today I'm here at the uh, Natural Products Expo West 2024, and I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my favorite like handful of booths at this event and exhibitors at this event. I've been coming to this event for over 20 years, more than a lot of the people have been here, and I've seen a lot of things change over the years, right? The event has always been growing and expanding and filling every nook and cranny of the convention center, and this year, actually, it's a tad bit smaller. I see, you know, empty booths, some empty spaces, which is a little bit surprising for me. Another thing I have seen over the 20 year career is that you know the supplement area and the, the bulk supplier area used to be really huge and now it's really, really small. Uh, you know, and actually what is growing though, and even the natural living areas that used to be fairly big are now also small, but what is growing is all the processed packaged foods, whether it's keto, whether it's carnivore, whether it's vegan, or whether it's just whatever it is, that area is growing. You know, and as companies buy other companies and all these things, you know, this industry is kind of getting diluted. You know, instead of being, you know, natural and about health these days, it's just about literally the products and selling you guys more products and you guys being more of a consumer to create more packaging waste. And it's quite unfortunate, you know, the amount of waste that this event generates. And the thing is this, when I used to come back in the olden days, there was a lot of like, health food store owners that would come and try to find products for their store. These days, while there are some of those people that still come, really most of the companies here are just hoping that a Costco, a Target, or a you know Whole Foods or Sprouts Farmers Markets come up to their booth and they write a deal <laughs> so they could get rich. Because <laughs> after all, this is the natural products industry, all about the you know business of health, you know, and products not about true health you know i will say that i want you guys to you know try to avoid as many products and things packages as you can and i want you to become a producer instead of a consumer this is all about a consumerism show and i want you guys to produce your own foods create your own things like if you made your own fresh juices like i do you would have no need to buy bottled juices if you made your fresh smoothies hopefully vacuum blended you wouldn't have to buy smoothies in a package that's been you know stabilized through heat if you made your own veggie burgers you wouldn't have to buy pre-made veggie burgers or you know things like impossible burger that has a huge booth and i'm glad they're doing so well but it's a highly processed food and i want you guys to get back to eating more natural foods things that you make at home even better yet grow your own food like i do so that you could actually eliminate part of the process at this whole event i think i saw one company that sold produce they were selling the rocket apples, which were nice small apples, but to me, they didn't particularly taste that good. Nonetheless, I walked the whole show. It took almost three days to walk the whole show, and now I'm going back on the last two days to film some booths for you guys to show you guys the products that I like. Now, the products I like are specialty products that you may not be growing, or you don't have equipment or machinery or the know-how to do that can make your life easier. So before I head inside the event, I wanna let you guys know I've been coming to this event for over 20 years and I have over 10 years of videos from this very event. My goal in this episode is to never cover the same vendor twice. So if the vendor that I liked a couple years ago is still here with nothing majorly new, they're not gonna be in the episode again. This is all like new companies. So make sure you check the links down below for my previous year's episodes where I always cover really cool and exciting products that you may not even know about even to this day. So let's head inside Natural Products Expo West, show you guys what it looks like, and show you guys my favorite vendors this year. So now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite exhibitor here at Natural Products Expo West, and it is Trimest, who makes healthy living easy. They are the lone standing equipment company that's, that is now attending this event. I mean, there used to be Vitamix, Omega, Kubings, all the different major brands that I would deal with that sell you guys appliances to make juices, make blended smoothies, all these things. And Tribest is the only company still standing after all the company, other companies have left because basically this whole show has turned into a processed food movement. And I'm glad to say it. So anyways, let me go ahead and take you guys over to Tribest to show you how you can start producing your own smoothies, uh, drinks, uh, juices, and even dehydrated foods easily. All right, so of course, Tribest's flagship product is their Green Star juicers that have been in, on sale for over 20 years. And just a few months ago, they came out with their brand new Green Star 
Generation 5 that makes it easier to clean and all stainless steel gears. Uh, this will allow you to make your own fresh cold pressed juices at home so you don't have to buy packaged and bottled juices. When you guys make your own juice at home, you're going to have higher nutrition, more enzymes, more phytonutrients, and of course you're going to save and not create all the excess plastic waste that unfortunately in most cases is not even being recycled. Of course besides juicers, Tribest also has some of the best vacuum blenders on the market. This is their personal uh, vacuum blender. Vacuum blending takes blending to the next level and none of the companies here that are selling pre-made smoothies vacuum blend their smoothies. I've shown in my tests link down below uh, to my video what Vitamix won't tell you when I do testing of the dissolved oxygen in the smoothie when you vacuum blend versus when you don't, right? It significantly degrades some of the nutrients. In addition, you're swallowing more air which give, will give you more gas and bloating. So more nutrition, better flavors, better taste, better colors, vacuum blending is the way to go. This is their personal vacuum blender, but I prefer their Dynapro commercial uh, vacuum blender which actually they sold here at the show so I can't show it to you. So I know a lot of you guys that are vegans may be buying soy milk on a regular basis, right? Once again, when you guys buy soy milk in a package, right? You can eat, drink the soy milk. They also may add other vitamins, which could be a good thing. They may add other stabilizers and other preservatives, which is not a good thing. Add things like excess sugar, which is not a good thing. And of course, you're also making and generating packaging waste and paying a lot more than you need to. So for that reason, you should get something like the Soy Bella so you can make your own soy milk at home. Put the soybeans in, put the water in, press the button, come back and you got soy milk made for you. Of course, you could also use this to make nut milks that are both heated or unheated should you prefer them raw. If you guys don't want to invest in a really expensive juicer so that you can start juicing today, this is my new favorite Shine juicer. They literally just came out with a month or two ago. This is the Shine multi-batch compact juicer where you literally could load up this hopper with different fruits and vegetables. You literally shut the lid and you could walk away to let the juicer do all the work without you. This machine also will pre-cut the produce for you so you don't have to pre-cut it and it makes an excellent yield compared to even some of the most high-end hopper style juicers on the market. I'll put links down below to my videos where I go into specific details about unboxing some of these appliances so you can learn more. So the Shine Kitchen electric spiralizer will allow you to spiralize things like zucchini or even English cucumbers into noodles or other shapes. So I mean have you gone into the grocery store to see like the little packaged zucchini noodle that you could buy pre-made. I encourage you guys to buy whole zucchinis and then have a machine so you can do it yourself. Not only will you save money, but you'll also prevent packaging waste from going to the landfill and because you're making it at home yourself, there's gonna be less oxidation, less chance of contamination from bacteria so that you could be healthier. So another big category here at the trade show was basically different dehydrated foods, whether you're getting dehydrated fruits or dehydrated vegetables, right? You could buy those in a package, and once again, you could eat that dehydrated food, and then you have packaging waste that you're creating. But if you guys buy a Tribest Sedona dehydrator, you could be dehydrating your own fresh fruits and vegetables. As a matter of fact, I dehydrate my own fresh homegrown kale to make kale chips, and the fun thing at this trade show, there is no kale chips in the house. There's two companies left in the industry making kale chips, and they did not even appear at this trade show, which makes me really sad. And actually to talk about just raw foods in general, I saw one raw food exhibitor here at this trade show. So like raw foods are out and definitely the keto diet and other diets that I don't promote are more in these days. But nonetheless, my goal with you guys in this episode is to you know, encourage you to become a producer, buy the equipment so that you can produce yourself to create less packaging waste have better food values and Tribest can help you guys do that because they make healthy living easy and provide you the best equipment to do it. If you guys want to learn more about the Sedona dehydrators or any of the equipment I've shown, links down below in the description to my other YouTube channel, Discount Juicers, where I'll give you in-depth videos to learn about each machine. If you guys want to purchase any of the Tribest products that you guys saw today, you can visit them at tribest.com slash DJ10 to get my special 10% off savings. All right, so now I want to show you guys another of my favorite booths here at Expo West. And honestly, this is one of my favorite because unlike a lot of booths here that'll sell you processed food, 
right? And you are consuming the food, and then when you consume the food, you gotta buy more food, right? This booth here teaches you guys how to grow your own food. That's like the next level. Now you can become a producer of your own sprouts and your own food instead of consuming them. So we're gonna learn next about the Sprout Man Company and how they could teach you how to grow your own sprouts. This is the number one food I recommend you guys grow, especially if you don't have a yard. Sprouts are even easier to grow than microgreens. So let's learn all about the Sprout Man. So first thing I wanna let you guys know, this is an homage to the actual Sprout Man. I mean, I've been in this industry for a long time. I would come to these shows and always see Steve Meyerwitz, the Sprout Man, at these shows. I'm with Steve Meyerwitz, and he's known as the Sprout Man. So Steve, how long have you been sprouting? Well, I started back in 1977. We'd work these shows together back in the day. He would bring his two little kids back in the day. This is Steve. Unfortunately, Steve passed before his time due to a head-on car collision. So I encourage you guys to drive safe. I also lost my ex-girlfriend in a head-on car collision, which was devastating. So don't drive late, be safe, get a car that is safe in crash tests, very important, not a little miniature car that you could be more prone to losing your life. Anyways, you know, uh, Steve wrote the book literally on sprouts, the miracle food that was the guide. He, this guy lived on sprouts, he ate so many more sprouts than I ever would or could. <laughs> he grew himself in his apartment in New York and after that, he wanted to educate the world about sprouts. And when he passed, his sons really took over the business to keep his legacy alive. And they've even grown it and took it to the next level. So uh, let's share more about the different products that will allow you to grow and eat more sprouts. So you guys can see here at this trade show, they are growing sprouts to show that you could grow sprouts anywhere. The Sprout Brothers, which is what I call them, they grow sprouts in the airplane, they've grown sprouts in the car when they're traveling, they've grown sprouts in the hotel room, and surely if they grow all these weird places, <laughs> you can grow them at home. So literally they just came out with this brand new kit with the, their jars, and literally all it takes to grow some sprouts is a mason jar and a stainless steel lid, which they will sell you, and of course you also need a high quality source of seeds. They have a whole entire seed line that they just now partnered with Mum Seeds. So now they work with small independent farmers to grow the seeds. So from farmer to you is a direct chain, not from some giant conglomerate farm, but you know, small farmers. So this is very important. And you guys can see uh, this is all non-GMO and organic seeds, very important. And more importantly, these seeds are tested three times. I mean, if you may have seen E. coli outbreaks on sprouts and all these crazy things, and that's because the seeds are contaminated. They, they test these seeds three times to ensure that there's no E. coli contamination and these are clean seeds and that they have a high germination rate so you're not wasting your money like you go buy cheap seeds somewhere else. You, they pay homage to their father here on the front of the package and of course the Sprout Brothers are there on the back and they give you all the instructions you need. Now this is a small little size package if you're just getting started, but they also have larger packages of seeds. And check it out, one week from seed to salad. And you could grow your own food in literally just one week. So, you know, they, they provide not only the seeds, the sprouting jars, but a lot of the information. So, you know, they'll even provide on their website recipes so you guys could use the sprouts. I mean, I just like to make a sprout salad where I just put a dressing over the sprouts. You could blend, blend some orange juice with a handful of nuts, a little seasoning, blend that up in your blender and just pour it over the sprouts and eat it instead of a lettuce salad, right? I mean, people add a little bit of sprouts on top of a sandwich and all these other things. Just eat sprouts as your salad. It, they're four to 40 times more nutritious than eating the stupid greens that I'm growing outside. <laughs> of course, if you're here, they also got cool little stickers and things they could get. you could get but um, I wanna show you guys some of the other products that will allow you to get more sprouts in your life. All right, so I always showed you guys the different seeds they have. Now, of course, if you guys wanna grow your own sprouts, that's all right. The Sprout Brothers will also provide you guys with sprout powders. So these are high quality sprout powders. Now, here's the thing, guys. I'll tell you guys straight up. Save your money on the sprout powders, and if you're completely lazy and some rich millionaire dude, hey, yeah, buy these and put them in every smoothie and every drink you make. But for the most of us, you guys just wanna, instead of getting the sprout powders, you guys want to buy this home sprouting kit. 
you guys don't understand how much money you will save by growing your own sprouts. If you guys go buy a little container of sprouts, two to four ounces at a grocery store, right? It could cost three to four dollars. You could buy a pack of seeds and grow like 20 times more sprouts with the seeds for the same price. You know, and this kit will make it easy. They give you everything you need. You don't have to go out and source separate things. They got mason jars with the, you know, their branded sprout mason jars that is guaranteed to grow sprouts better than your own mason jars. <laughs> with the special stainless steel lids, I only like using stainless steel lids, not the plastic ones that most people have. They also, of course, give you the tray to set it on, as well as the organic seeds, as well as the rack to set them on so you can drain your sprouts at the proper rake so that they drain out and provide enough airflow so that you don't have the mold issues. You know, you should not just be setting your sprouts like that because no air could get in there and then they suffocate and they get moldy. All right, so this kit here will cost you under $40 and grow you 30 cups of sprouts with the included seeds. That's lots of sprouts, guys. And after you're done with the seeds in here, you can basically buy more seeds and grow more sprouts. And of course, I'm John Kohler. I'm gonna hook you guys up with a discount. OK Raw coupon code will save you guys 15% off your purchase at Sproutman.com. All right, and check it out, guys. I wanna go over the sprouts here. Why are sprouts superfoods, right? Sprouts are the original superfood, not all this powder stuff that's shipped from, you know, the Amazon and all these other things in a pouch. Grow your own sprouts. You can, have, you can grow your own superfoods at home that are alive, living foods, much more vibrant, has a lot more frequency and biophotons than any food you would buy at the grocery store because you grew them yourself. That's why I love growing my own food outdoors in my house. So these are powerful living foods that are up to 40 times more nutritious than full grown greens. They're affordable and accessible, sustainable and delicious. You can grow them anywhere and everywhere. And of course, if you guys don't want to use a standard mason jar to grow them, they have these cool little contraptions, including this one that contains no plastic. This is the Geo. And this is the, you know, you could grow sprouts in here. This can be a little bit more difficult to clean if you, uh, if they get kind of funky. But then they have this unit right here, which they actually import from France. And this is made out of like a wood pulp, which is really cool. So it's like sustainable. And you just literally fill up this top. It'll basically drip down and water your sprouts. And then, you know, the water, the excess water comes out here. So that's a nice, easy way to do it. And of course, another method to grow your sprouts, which the Sprout Brothers love the most, is the sprout bag because you can grow a lot more sprouts in the sprout bag than you can than in the mason jar. So, you know, there's so many different ways to grow the sprouts. You don't have to like use this way or that way. Try them all to see which one works best for you and which one you like the most so that you continue to do it because that's the main thing I want you guys to realize is that what you do, you know, on a consistent basis, like I all hope you brush your teeth every day, right? And if you grow, you could grow sprouts every day and just take care of your sprouts, you like, Put your seeds in here, soak this in water, bring it out, and then all you gotta do is like dip this in water and hang it, and the sprouts will grow. This is hemp, so there's no plastic contact in your food, much like their mason jar where they have glass and stainless. Once again, no plastics, your sprouts, will, your organic sprouts will not get contaminated. And if you guys already have your own mason jars and wanna set up your own rack, cause you could just use like a drain rack for your, um, you know, dishes, you could just buy their stainless steel sprouting lids. So really love the Sprout Brothers. We're in the Sprout Man company now, and they just try to really make it easy for you to grow your own sprouts so you can start growing your own food today. And I know if you've never grown sprouts before, don't be scared. It's super easy. You soak your sprouts, you rinse them a couple times a day, you set them on their properly designed racks, and they grow for you in your house. 365 days a year and I want you guys to rinse and grow sprouts every single day just like you brush your teeth and with the Sprout Brothers they'll, they'll make it easy for you guys to do because if you do buy their kit and you have problems contact them and they'll be happy to make sure you are successful growing your sprouts so that you can eat sprouts every day and increase the nutrient density in your diet so you guys can be healthier and have more living foods that are much better than simply eating just raw foods. Links down below to my video where I discuss this, where I visit and Wigmore Institute, we discuss why living foods is a lot better than eating just raw foods. So once again, if you guys wanna get any of the Sprout Man products, you can visit them at sproutman.com. Make sure you guys use a coupon code OKRAW to save 15%. All right, so now I wanna show you guys another one of my favorite vendors here at this whole entire event. 
And this is a Casa de Mesquite. They're actually in the Argentina Pavilion here at the event. And you know, here's the thing guys, like I search out the finest quality, best quality ingredients for myself and also more importantly to share with you because you know, most people probably pass by this booth and think nothing of it because everybody wants all the processed junk. This is the food here guys that has been eaten by the indigenous Indians of the Southwest here in America as well as places like Argentina for over 10,000 years. They would basically chew on the pods and spit out the seeds and so they would actually save the good seeds by spitting out the seeds near their houses. The trees would grow and they would continue to select for unknowingly the best finest tasting mesquite pods. They would of course also take the mesquite pods and then mash them up, turn them into a flower, let them sun dry in the sun and then put them in their little pouches so they could go on days of expedition to hunt for meats and whatever they're hunting for back in the day. So today I want to really share with you guys uh, more about the finest quality mesquite money can buy. So now I'm going to share with you guys more about uh, Casa de Mesquite. Now, you know, here's the thing guys, this company was founded by a scientist who has been researching mesquite for the last 40 years. Before he retired, he helped people grow mesquite, process mesquite, all the aspects of mesquite. He has dedicated his life and even wrote a book about mesquite, about, you know, interviewing indigenous cultures. I mean, in one indigenous culture, I think from like, uh, you know, Thermo, California, they have like seven or eight different words for mesquite, depending on the ripeness and how it was used in their particular culture. Think about it, if we had a different term for ripeness of different fruits at different stages, right? I wish they did that in stores. They told you, these avocados, they I mean, they have stickers when they're ripe. They're either ripe or not ripe. Everything's always, you know, binary, this or that. But, you know, there, there could be seven different stages of mesquite pods, which is amazing. And when they were being used, this is how important that crop was to indigenous peoples. And these days, everybody just wants processed junk foods with white flour, white sugar. This is how the indigenous people got their sugar, their calories from the mesquite so they would have the energy to go out and do their everyday tasks because they could store this. Once it was harvested, it grew as a wild food. This is a wild food, guys. This is like, you guys don't understand how important this is. And like, how many of you guys ever even eat mesquite or even heard about it? <laughs> you know, I eat mesquite regularly. It goes into my oatmeal in the morning. You could add it to baked goods. You could add it to different desserts. I add it to my desserts, my brownies I make. It adds the next level of flavor. Anyways, let's learn a bit more about mesquite according to the LA Times like uh, food editor. And he says, it had a beautiful aroma. There was something roasted like coffee or chocolate then a stronger smell suggesting some fruits, perhaps dried cherries, or was that coconut? Together with a note of spice, cinnamon, maybe nutmeg, right? It is often described that mesquite flour has a taste of like a coconut, cinnamon, nutmeg. I mean, it depends on your taste buds, but it has a nice, unique, complex flavor that can't be duplicated by any other food on the planet. It is its own unique thing and I want you guys to introduce some mesquite flour by Casa de Mesquite into your life so you guys can taste the difference. I mean, I have a different brand mesquite right now and I know what it tastes like and I tasted the stuff here and I'm like, man, this stuff is like light years ahead of the powder I get. And I mean, for those of you guys that live in the Southwest, maybe in Texas, in Southern California, Arizona, you guys have mesquite trees that are just growing randomly. The challenge with that is that the mesquite get little bugs and insects and also those varieties may not be the sweetest. So that's why, you know, if you leave it to the experts, they're gonna do the best job. So, you know, next up, this is how hardy the mesquite tree can be. This is a mesquite tree in Death Valley. Death Valley is the hottest place, maybe even in the world, but definitely in the country, right? Mesquite trees have been living and surviving. They are quite tolerant trees, drought tolerant, tolerant of the heat, and will just continue to produce and then there's a, you know, you could use it, here's waffles with mesquite. You can see the darker color. That is because the polyphenol and a content of the mesquite will raise up the polyphenols of your standard, you know, waffles made with white flour, which you should not be eating. And of course, you can add it to different, um, you know, cakes and pastries, desserts that you can make fresh. I like to add it to my oatmeal to add additional flavor. Of course, I also add a high quality carob, which is another bean uh, plant, which, you know, for me, the carob and the mesquite are both bean crops. I would consider them fruits because they're primarily source of 
carbohydrates, and especially more important than just the carbohydrates, there are good sources of the soluble and insoluble fiber. And you know, here's the thing I learned, like, I mean, I see screaming mesquite, I see this other mesquite where I live in Las Vegas. Here's 11 different kinds of mesquite pods that are being grown, and they use the white mesquite, uh, a Casa uh, D mesquite here, because it's one of the finest varieties. Now this is a tropical mesquite that's different from the varieties that would be grown in Texas. You know, if you try Texas mesquite, it's not really that good because basically the bulldozer did the selection of what's, what's remaining of the mesquite in Texas. So seek out the best variety that is actually wild harvested from the local people there and then it basically comes to their their plant. So let's uh, talk a little bit more about how the mesquite is processed and the end result. So now I want to show you guys why the Casa de Mesquite mesquite is the finest mesquite money can buy. And you know here's the thing like this is the mesquite powder. This is what it looks like. I'll be trying some in just a little bit. And on this mesquite, unlike a lot of others, which may just grind up whole mesquite, bug parts and everything, and give you the shell and everything, they separate out only the finest part of the mesquite. So let me show you guys what this looks like. This is a picture of the, what the mesquite pod looks like. And you can see there's the outer shell, and these are probably not the appropriate scientific terms, but I'm just a layman here. <laughs> they got the outer shell, they got the inner part with the little seed that's hard, will break your teeth. And then inside there could be like little holes where the basically the bugs will burrow in and poop and grow a little larvae thing and it's nasty you don't want to eat that many companies may just grind all that up and then sell it to you in there right there's a lot actually there's certain amounts that that are allowed to be in the food we're eating anyways what they do at this company is they basically take out the outer shell they take out the seed they remove all the bug parts and all these things and they just take the inner white part the flesh this is the sweetest the finest part of the mesquite that is the part they use they take the whole pods they grind them up and then they separate out only the finest inner part of it to grind up into the finest mesquite flour all this stuff here and all the remnants that's just the junk stuff goes to animal feed because it is actually quite still nutritious but they only use the finest inside uh, you know flesh of the mesquite that's the sweetest okay now here's the thing this scientist guy is meticulous right everything has to be done to perfection and you know he's worked in the mesquite industry for over 40 years and he's like nobody ever had the perfect quality that he wanted so he had to go out after he retired from his regular uh you know job and he basically started his own factory so it could be done right because if it's not being done right he's not going to do it at all and what does this mean for you? This means the benefit for you is the safest mesquite money can buy that is the highest quality mesquite, right? The unfortunate thing for you guys is that he's not just selling to the end consumer. He wants to sell this to big companies so that they can start using it in their baking flour to make you know, mesquite waffles and make mesquite chips and mesquite cakes and all these things and sell it to big restaurants so they can start including these, this indigenous food to people. But of course you guys could buy a nice large bulk sizes as well but basically he had to go out and make his own factory so this is just one of the pictures of his factory he showed me some other pictures that i can't reveal but basically he made his own factory to his specifications to process the mesquite in the very best way getting the very best you know um flour and texture and bug free right that is a uh, kosher and non-gmo certified so yeah hats off to him and now I want to go ahead and try for you guys the uh, Cascade Mesquite this is what this is a little sample packs he's given out here and this is what it looks like on the camera it basically just looks like a little powder we could blow it you can see it's like a little dust and we're just gonna eat this normally you know you might want to put this in water or mix it with something but I like eating stuff straight so we're just gonna pop it in the mouth here so what I'm gonna tell you guys is this. I mean, I like to buy date sugar, which is basically ground up dates, which also can be grown in like the Southwest, like thermal. There's also many mesquite trees in thermal California. What I'm, tell I'm gonna tell you guys is this. This is almost as sweet as date sugar to me personally, but it has hints of like cinnamon, maybe some kind of like coconut flavor. Like, it's amazing. So if you're looking for like a, a fiber rich sweetener instead of date sugar that actually has less sugar in it than date sugar this would be it uh, you know this is an amazing ingredient to add to your recipes to not only add fiber also add polyphenols and other vitamins but also a great source of carbohydrates healthy unprocessed carbohydrates 
that you guys could get them into your diet and into your life. So the only way you guys could buy this at present time direct um, in 28 pound like uh, lots, like a big bag and you know, hey, I would encourage you guys to buy a big bag and then split it with all your friends so you guys can get it. Uh, he sells it at casadmesquite.com. I'll put the link down below. So now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite product here that's raw and vegan and fruit based. So let's check it out, it's actually called Monkey Brittle. So I wanna tell you guys about the Monkey Brittle product. This product is insane, right? As somebody who eats raw foods and fresh fruits and vegetables, which I advocate, the challenge is everything you eat is all soft and it just kind of melts in your mouth. You miss that crunch that you used to have when you used to eat potato chips and hopefully you're not eating them anymore because that is purely junk food and there's lots of potato chips here. I'm not teaching you guys about that stuff. I'm teaching you guys about this monkey brittle because even the monkeys would like it. Check it out guys. This is gluten-free, vegan, paleo, raw, no added sugar. I've never seen a product like this in my entire life. And check it out guys, this is what it's literally made of right here. They got the ingredients made out of some almonds, pecans, walnuts, some raisins, and bananas with a few other flavorings, and that is it. That's what makes this super crazy. It's super simple, not even that complicated, but this product will change your life. Check it out, right? When you guys used to go to like to the local mall, they'd have that like candy brittle stuff at, the, at you know one of those candy shops and you'd crunch on it and it was so good, right? Check it out, that's what this stuff is. This is a little brittle here. And it just is made, this bottom is just bananas and then they got some raisins and nuts and this one has strawberries on it. And when you eat it, this stuff crunches up, man. Super crazy, insane. This is because of their proprietary drying technology. You couldn't show me exactly how they do it, but I personally believe they're doing vacuum dehydration. I have no idea, but they say that it's raw iron here, low temperature process. The crunch with the bananas, the nuts, they got a flavor with strawberries, which is the healthiest in my opinion. They got the original, and of course they got the coconut cacao with a little bit of sea salt. We're gonna go ahead and open this up to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. I hope they're not just all little small bits. All right, let's go ahead and rip this open for you guys, show you guys what's inside. You know, this should be hopefully available at your local health food store. If not, ask them to bring it in. It is available in UFI, UNFI, and KHE, so most health food stores should be able to order this and get this in. And let me show you guys what's inside the package in there. Inside the package, check it out. Nice, big, large chunks of the brittle. Nice and crunchy. This stuff's delicious, guys. Insanity right here in a bag better than any dehydrated food ever tasted. The main thing is because it's crunchy, it's made out of bananas with no grains. It's just the fruits and the nuts. Super delicious, super nutritious. If you guys can't find this near you, it's unfortunate, but you guys can order online at monkeybrittle.com. All right, so I wanna show you guys another favorite booth of mine, and this, especially if you guys are an owner of a convenience store, work in a university, or like a doctor's office, or a hospital or even just have a health food store you want to serve smoothies, but you don't want to have all the infrastructure to do it, this is the machine you guys need. It's a smoothie, fresh, all natural smoothies. You literally just pick a cup, peel the seal, scan it. It basically blends it up for you as the filtered water. The machine cleans itself so that you don't have to, and you can have a fresh smoothie with no additives. The owner actually started this company because he was an engineer from Germany and he like came to America, he started gaining weight. Like most Americans are overweight. It's not, I mean, 70% of Americans are overweight. Hopefully you guys are not because you're watching me and you guys are eating healthily, especially on the road. I mean, I'll travel with my juicer. On this trip, I brought my juicer in my carry-on bag. I mean, most of you guys aren't gonna do that. That's why I hope the smoothie machine comes at every convenience store, truck stop, university, even corner market will have these one day so that you guys can eat healthily on the road so you don't have to bring your juicer or blender with you. You can get a healthy smoothie to go and the cool thing, check it out, it's smoothie with the D and it's, it's gonna change your mood and look at this, that's a fingerprint because you get to personalize the smoothie you're making every time you make it. So all you do to use this super simple machine is you open it up, you select the smoothie you want. They have a couple different uh, versions. A Magic Mocha, this is a 10 grams of protein, a peanut, 
15 grams of protein, the green energizer, only 100 calories per cup. It's gonna help you lose some weight. The Brain Boost, even lower calories, 70 calories, tropical vibes. Uh, I mean, and these recipes are simple. It's like mango, pineapple, orange. Couldn't be any simpler. Clean, healthy, and easy. And of course, strawberry banana. Of course, my favorite is the greens, and I'm gonna get a green energizer. And the cool thing is, they have easy ingredients. This is all that is in here. It's simply the spinach, the mango, the banana, and we got some matcha powder in there. And you can see all the nutrition facts. And the cool thing is, these are all the whole ingredients in here. You can see through the cup, right? Bananas, you know, you can see the mangoes in there, the spinach, all ready to get blended. And all you need to do to use this stuff is you just basically take this and you peel off the top right here. All right, so all you need to do once you take the peel off the top is you can boost it. So they got some boosters, they got an immunity boost, an energy boost, they got agave and some other stuff if you wanna add additional flavors or sugars to it, which I don't recommend. I recommend you guys use it straight up. It's the healthiest way to eat it or drink it. And then all you do is you take the little UPC barcode and you scan it right here. And it scans it and check it out. This machine opened up automatically for you and it says place the cup. So you don't even have to be smart to use it. You just need to be able to read. Maybe it'll talk to you too. You drop the cup in there and then it goes into the screen and says, choose your thickness. So do you want it thick, regular, or thin? <laughs> I put it at the regular and now it just closed and check it out. There's a stick blender coming in. You can see it's adding the filtered water to the smoothie right now. And now you can see the little uh, blender stick coming down in there and now it's spinning it all up to the perfect texture. Now the cool thing is, as you're blending, you get to see video. This is where my spinach was grown. This is how the strawberries are grown, right? They tell you about how these produce is, uh, you know, grown in the best ways, using the best practices, harvesting fresh, and then quick frozen, put in the packages so that you guys can get it. So this is really educating people about the foods and where they're coming from. So there's like traceability, whereas, you know, most things you get in a package, you have no idea where it came from. You're not connected with a farmer. I encourage you guys to get connected with your farmers. Shop your local farmer's markets. Know where your food comes from, you know? And look, I was actually the farmer right there anyways. Uh, and then you can download the app for loyalty and get free rewards and all this kind of stuff. Now the cool thing is if you already are in food service or a big restaurant or a convenience store and you deal with food service, you know, Cisco and US Foods already stock all the frozen product in, in their inventory. So all you need to do is contact the smoothie company, get the machine, and you can be selling smoothies literally tomorrow. So it's about a minute to blend. You guys can see the countdown timer and we're almost there but they want to make sure you get that perfect consistency every single time all right so it finished blending the machinery is retracting and check it out all automated really slick now it opens up so that you can grab it and now you could grab your smoothie and now normally you'd be grabbing a bamboo reusable straw that is compostable right right here look bamboo straws are percent natural reusable and compostable and these are not cheap bamboo straws guys these are legit bamboo straws. I got one the other day. And check it out, the machine is auto-cleaning itself. So you own, you know, the convenience store. You don't, your, your guys, your workers don't have to clean it. This machine takes care of itself for you. That's the amazing thing. I hope really this machine gets out to every place in the world. And then you, look, it says it's cleaning and I can rate it. Man, that's five stars. I got Thank something you. healthy to drink. And unfortunately, I don't have a bamboo straw because they served over 1,000 smoothies here at this event, you know, in the last three days, many more than they thought they would. So we have some replacement you, plastic straws today, normally not found in the machine, but we can stick it in. Man, it's just like I made it at home. Fresh and smoothie. I taste the banana in there. Amazing flavor. Super delicious and ideally healthy for you guys when you guys are on the run. So ask for this if you're a trucker at your local truck stop. Say, hey, I want a smoothie machine so I can eat healthy on the road instead of grabbing that crap that's all processed with sugars and all these additives so that you can help you guys lose weight, get healthier by eating more fruits and vegetables ready to blend. So if you guys want to learn more about the Get Smoothie, get one in your facility or hopefully ask them. Hopefully they'll have a locator so you can find one near you so you can experience the amazing smoothie machine. You can check them out at GetSmoothie, S-M-O-O-D-I.com.
So normally I don't really cover boost in the whole supplement area. You know, I believe that supplements can play a part of a healthy diet when appropriately needed, but we should not eat supplements because we're eating a junk food diet, right? We should eat supplements to make our diet better. And that's why I'm here today because this, I don't even consider it a supplement. It's really, to me, this is a food. So where we're at today is we're at the My Miracle booth. They are from Malaysia and they have the number one patented postbiotic product. I mean, you guys know that I'm really into prebiotics, which is like fibers and whatnot to eat, or even just eating a diversity of foods. And I'm into eating fermented foods, which you guys should be fermenting your own foods, eating plenty of fermented foods that can modulate and help your microbiome. But they have a patented postbiotic that is different than every other postbiotic. I mean, you could, there, you could throw around postbiotic all, all over the place, because a postbiotic, what is a postbiotic in the industry? It's basically when they make a fermentation and whatever the bacteria quote unquote poop out is the postbiotic. That being said, right now in this episode, you're gonna learn really more about postbiotics and why the My Miracle postbiotic that's patented is the best in the world compared to every other one out there. So let's head inside the booth to learn more. So the first thing I wanna let you guys know is this is a patented postbiotic, very important. They have two patents right here. This is the, uh, probiotic composition for nutraceutical product and the tumor cyclotoxic agent and methods thereof. So, you know, they have a little bit different process that other companies do not know about. And, you know, they've been having this R&D and technology for over 20 years now in Malaysia. This kind of research is not being done in the United States, unfortunately. And as you guys can see, uh, the postbiotic can help with constipation, gut health, high cholesterol, skin allergies, inflammation, cancer, mental illness, and even IBS. So let's go ahead and show you guys what this postbiotic product looks like. All right, so you guys can see some of the postbiotic product they sell. They have several different versions and I wanna explain them to you. This is the postbiotic powder. So this is a very special powder. This is not just like the fermentation and the heat kill everything and all the bacteria and all the cells and everything and then you know put it make it into a powder or even into a liquid they have a special process where they centrifuge out the dead bacterial cells so they're only giving you what the ferment produced and they're using a uh, lactobacillus plantarum to do their ferment and you can also of course encapsulate it or put it into tablets or also you can have a liquid of their postbiotic product in addition, I mean, this is this could be a functional food. So basically, you could add their postbiotic to like a soy sauce, coconut aminos, or something, and have a product that you could just put on your food, so you could get the benefits of their postbiotic. How they're currently being sold is in a liquid or a powder. So this is the liquid uh, product here. They have two different versions at present time. This has two different postbiotic products. This product they recommend for things like anti-inflammation and skin disorders. This has two different postbiotics in there. This product has one postbiotic and this is for like uh, anti-cancer, for example. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and sit down with you and share with you guys more about postbiotics because this is something you probably never heard about before. Now they're really cool card deck so you guys could better understand the postbiotic that the My Miracle company from Malaysia makes. And you guys can see uh, this is the postbiotic effects it can, it's the essence of the probiotics. So really this is one of the reasons why the probiotics work. Yeah, the bacteria can do great things, but what does the bacteria poop out? So it has been shown that in our guts, the beneficial microbes in our guts will basically quote unquote poop out or make as a metabolite things like short chain fatty acids that can have highly beneficial effects such as butyrate, propionate, and acetate. And uh, so this is the essence of the probiotic, so the effects of the probiotic. This is why fermented foods are so good. More importantly, this is science backed with over 100 published studies on Google Scholar. This is safer because it has no live cells. That's really the key differentiation of the My Miracle product is other companies do not separate out the cells. This is an extra step, extra costly, and most companies don't believe it is important, but you know they've been doing this now for over 20 years and this promotes growth of good bacteria and kills pathogenic bacteria in the gut. And I know a lot of you guys have never learned about postbiotics before, but this is a really cool chart that kind of like will set your mind thinking about things. You know, humans discovered probiotics 
in 1905. So they discovered like, you know, good bacteria. Then they discovered antibiotics in 1928. Then we, we discovered prebiotics, right? Like the fiber, 1995. So prebiotics were not even discovered when I started eating a whole food plant-based diet that's raw. Then they discovered parabiotics, which is basically the, what they would call the heat-killed uh, probiotics with its residential um, you know, metabolites that they were created. And of course, in 2012, which is when the company here and their R&D was started, that's when the My Miracle R&D on the postbiotic where they centrifuge out the cells so that there's less reaction and even further benefits and they have been studying this for the last 20 years. So I know a lot of you guys have been thinking, John, why you been going down this gut microbiome thing? And that's because, you know, as Hippocrates said, all disease starts in the gut. Some raw vegans would lead you to believe that you just need to cleanse your gut and you're gonna be fine. That being said, that's a very simple, simplistic mentality that I do not believe in any further after doing my own microbiome test. Link down below so you guys can see my results of my microbiome test and learning how really important your gut health is to your health. And that's why I embrace things like prebiotics, postbiotics, and even the probiotics and different strains of probiotics that can benefit and modulate our health. You know, here it is. All right, so you, are, you can see our guts uh, are our largest gas station or provide us with energy over 95%. Our gut's also very important for immune system over 70%. It's the largest microbiome activity and the largest sewage plant. <laughs> so where we eliminate most of our toxins that we create in our body. This is why our gut is so important to pay attention to. And I believe, and also based on the science, uh, postbiotics can help modulate your gut and increase your health, especially for me because I got into changing my diets because of, you know, an immune system uh, compromise. You know, that's why I'm so diving down this rabbit hole that you're really not going to hear in other raw vegan channels or even most plant-based channels. So now I want to show you guys actually why are postbiotics so good? What's in there that makes them so good? And here's a little, uh, you know, slide on that. They got a short chain fatty acids. I discussed those earlier. It has exopolysaccharides. So these are like, you know, sugars that have already been broken down. It has amino acids. Also has extracellular and secreted proteins. And it's bacteriosins. So that's actually interesting. Bacteriosins basically will kill selective bacteria. So they'll inhibit the bacterial growth of say like bad bacteria such as E. coli. It also has uh, tachoid acids and other cell wall components that I don't even know about. <laughs> and also of course it has antioxidant activity so it can scavenge free radicals. Also of course contains enzymes, vitamins such as B1, B9, B12, and vitamin K, and of course the minerals. All right, and so here is more information on the My Miracle postbiotic compared to other postbiotic products. This is what really makes it different. This is really it. They have a controlled fermentation technology and there's no heat kill. So if you take a postbiotic product and you want to be raw vegan, you're no longer raw because they are heating up the postbiotic to kill it. In this postbiotic, they centrifuge it, no heat applied. That's very important because when you apply heat to things, you can lose nutrients, lose beneficial properties. Of course, you know, you would also select for other properties if you do a heating step. Um, it also is 100% Malaysian strains that's grass certified um, from traditional, traditional Malaysian fermented foods such as fermented cassava and even the fermented tempeh, which I personally love a lot. This all, they are also a pioneer of postbiotic research over 20 years, science fact, and they have multiple certifications, as you guys can see. So there's many published studies on the benefits of this postbiotic, but they claim on here, they could they claim they could improve your gut health. They could manage blood cholesterol, right, just through modulation of your microbiome, in my opinion, anti-inflammatory, and it could boost your immune system. And you know, I wanna show you guys some testimonials here real quick. So here's a testimonial of a customer, and you guys can see some of the blood markers improved after taking the product. And you can see he also lost eight kilograms of weight by not changing anything else. I mean, that's really the, tr the power 
of the postbiotic. Not making any other changes, just adding a postbiotic can get you additional health benefits because now you're feeding your gut microbiome and encouraging their development. And of course, there's another one that's really interesting. You know, they've used their product with people with eczema and psoriasis to improve those conditions as well. Of course, you know, it's always best to change your diet to get the best benefits and then even adding additional products such as this one could help take it to the next level if you have a pesky situation that you're working with. So, you know, here's taking their product on day one of the psoriasis and you can see day eight, right? Not changing anything else, significantly less psoriasis by taking this postbiotic product that is patented. So now I wanna show you guys actually what it looks like. We're just gonna go ahead and open this up. And here's just, it comes in these little packets. You could add this to food, you could add this to a smoothie. I just like to eat it straight. So we're gonna rip this open. All right, so that I ripped it open, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. It's basically just a powder. So this is the dried product, of course, they also have the liquid product. All right, so that is the postbiotic product. Normally people would normally mix this in liquid, it's quite dry, but I don't really care. I like eating things straight so I can taste the flavor of what it tastes like. What I'll tell you guys is that it tastes like a, it is a very neutral flavor. Like I'm not really tasting anything. I'm tasting a little bit of lactic acid, like a little acidy. I mean, I like the flavor, it's really nice. Maybe like a prebiotic, fiber powder is what I'd compare it to, but more flavor. I've had some like weird fermented stuff from like Japan and China and that stuff tastes horrible. This stuff actually tastes great, I would say. So I hope that some people start bringing this product from Malaysia that is not yet available in America, or at least I hope they start offering this product on Amazon so that you guys could get the benefits of the number one patented postbiotic product. So if you guys want to learn about the number one postbiotic product in Malaysia, you can learn more about them at mymiracle.com.my. Link down below. So now I'm going to show you guys another one of my favorite booths here, and there's not many at this whole entire event, right? And so this is a shared booth with a few different brands in here, but I want to highlight Alive Ferments because they are alive. They are a fermented product that takes fermentation to the next level because they do a few extra things. And these are some amazing ferments that actually I've been adding to the top of my salads and vegetable meals that I've been eating every night at this event. Let's come into the booth and uh, let me tell you guys more. All right, so now I want to show you guys the Alive Ferments and these are cultured chili sauces, right? You guys want to add some flavorings to your different raw and heat processed vegan meals that are whole food plant-based. This is it, these are never pasteurized, they're a live food product, rich in probiotics. And I'll remind you guys that you know eating probiotic rich foods can help build your microbiome more than simply just increasing the diversity of plant foods you're eating according to published scientific studies. And these ones are quite tasty. This company literally started as a home, a hobby business for the owners who would just ferment things. And then they, later they found out during COVID, especially when there's lockdowns, that you know, there's published studies that came out that fermented foods can help build your immune system. So then they brought this to market and now perfected what they're doing and now making it available to you. Uh, you know, ask at your local health food store to bring it in. I believe they are available at Kihei, so your local health food store can order from Kihei and get it in. Of course, if you guys don't have it at your health food store, you guys could also order online and they'll ship to you. So I wanna go over the different products they have and I'll show you guys my experience of adding them to my daily meals here at the event. So they have the spicy OG. Each one has a whole different blend of peppers and other plant-based food that is then fermented for 30 days under active fermentation. Then to stop, and then that's the main thing. They, they slowly ferment it so that the flavors get to slowly meld. That's very important, right? This is not a quick ferment. After 30 days, they put it in the fridge and that slows the fermentation significantly and then they age it for an additional three months. So you have that nice acidy flavor, the lactic acid that's being produced by the bacteria. Also that makes it more shelf stable. And then they sell it to you. So they have the spicy OG, and this is the one that I love the most that I've tried. I just add it to like my cooked vegetables and then been eating it and it's so amazing. Next up I tried the mild red and this one was nice. I mean, if you guys don't like any heat, you'd probably like the mild red. It has like sweet peppers in there. And then I'm gonna probably try tonight the Chipotle. 
which sounds delicious to me. I'll probably like this one too. You know, here's the thing guys, I want you guys to add fermented foods to your diet. I believe it'd be highly helpful, whether you guys want to make them yourself, or if you want to support a brand like this that does all the hard work so that you can just open up and enjoy. And of course, uh, hopefully I'll be taking with me the uh, mild green, which I have not tried yet. Now, while you can get these, and they should be refrigerated, Right, they have a nice long shelf life because they're a living food product. They also will sell you guys the cool product because they learn like, hey, we didn't sell all this, what do we do with it? They'll basically dehydrate it, it turns it into sheets, and then we'll powder it up and then add it to salt. So this is basically a seasoning salt with their ferments with salt added, so then you can shake this on your food once again for a nice, amazing, delicious, fermented flavor. So if you guys want to learn more about this stuff and check it out, you could you could use it as a dip, you could have it as a salsa, add it to salads, add it on sandwiches, add it to tacos, or just add it to other foods. Like I'm just eating heat processed vegetables, I just add it on top and get a little bit of that on my vegetables. It's the most amazing living sauce ever. <laughs> so if you guys want to learn more, you can check them out at liveferments.com. So the expo is now over and I'm back in the hotel room, packing my hotel room up and I'm gonna be out of here in literally just a few minutes after I shut the camera off. But I wanted to uh, you know, share with you guys some of the other items and some of their uh, you know, vendors or exhibitors that I really liked at this event and got samples from them, although you know, I didn't think they were like really good enough to appear in the video. Some of them I've had on the show before and some of them I have not and actually one of them packed up before I could even get back to their booth and film there, which was quite sad. So uh, yeah, so always I bring home a big bag full of stuff and it would be fun in the olden days, you know, when I have partners and stuff, they get, get like way more stuff than me. I try to just get the bare minimum, there's so much garbage and just processed junk food they're giving out here, I get the best of the best, of course. Got a bunch of that monkey brittle stuff I like so much, and also some dog stuff from my dog. Um, but there's a whole bunch of other products I want to show you guys real quick um, to, that you guys may not know about that are really cool. So number one, I really love this brand I saw and got to meet them at the show. It's called the You Pick brand, and they basically uh, you know source high quality ingredients and will package them up and ship them to you. So they're based in Canada. So this is good news for you guys that are Canadians. But for those of us that are Americans, they have a shop on Amazon. That's where I usually get their products. And it's, this is organic watermelon kernels, right? These are actually really rare, guys. You guys don't know. These are very hard to find. They source them. They get them organic. And now you can buy them, too. You know, uh, watermelon kernels are very high in certain trace minerals that other nuts and seeds may not be high in. So this can really boost up your diet. Plus... You know, these are already, you know, peeled. They're not white, they're hullless, and that makes them really simple to eat. So yeah, check them out on their Amazon shop. Link down below. It's my favorite you pick products on Amazon in my Amazon shop. Next up, I got this stuff. This is actually from Turkey. I don't know if this company's gonna make it or not. This is their brand new introduction. Uh, this is their freeze-dried fruits. These are definitely next level. They are growing these like hydroponically and then freeze drying them. These are supposed to be whole strawberries and sliced up figs and they said they're whole tangerines, I highly doubt that. That are freeze dried, so I mean, after fresh, freeze dried is the best technology to preserve food to retain the highest amount of nutrients. So you can check them out at Claro's Farm. Once again, I'll put all the links to these products down below. They're really cool, but these are $6.99 a bag. And I don't know if the marketing is going to fly. I mean, I kind of like the whole space thing myself, but I don't think most consumers are going to buy it because it like, looks like it's from outer space. Although astronauts do take this food to the moon and they are using hydroponic growing for their strawberries, for example, which has been used on the space station. All right, next up, let's see what we got here. Oh, of course, we got the purple jasperi rice. I got to see my friends at the purple jasperi rice company that are helping farmers in Thailand pay a fair wage that they could grow food plus of course these are this is purple rice that is more nutritious than the standard white rice uh, more antioxidants all that good stuff also visited nature's answer and i use some of their products for my uh, tooth care including their uh, perio bright this is their toothpaste they also have a gum gel and a mouthwash that i still like to this day this was really exciting when i found this this is one source you guys probably won't you know even find this or anything but what this is, this is basically 
100% anthocyanins that are alcohol and water extracted. They really didn't want to give me this. They're like, it, it doesn't taste good. And I'm like, I got really excited because like I want to taste anthocyanins that are isolated from the food. That being said, I encourage you guys to eat anthocyanins in the food, such as the purple rice, which is one of the foods highest in anthocyanins, along with the purple corn and along with the true deep purple carrots. So this is gonna be fun to try, you know, basically straight anthocyanins extracted from mulberries. Next up, this is not really a end user product, but this company is a badass. Um, the liquid dry product. For those of you guys that have like companies and want to, you know, get the best, they basically will spray dry juices, and then when you add water to the liquid dry powder, it basically tastes like juice. So at their booth, they had samples of like carrot juice, which was their powder add it to water and it tastes just like carrot juice. So it's the best way to preserve, you know, juices, have them on the go with like no extra additives or preserved those are all this kind of junk. Next up I got this. This is really fun. This is the Viori V-I-O-R-I -I, shampoo bar. And of course I'm a guy so I got that fragrance free. So instead of using like the bottled shampoo, you can get a shampoo bar now. I guess maybe other companies make this stuff. Plus it comes in this really cool like package there that just kind of folds out, looks like a flower. So that's, that was kind of fun. And of course, I really love that cas Cascade Mesquite that you saw previously in this episode. This stuff is amazing, the best uh, mesquite powder I've ever seen. And then on the first day, I found the company uh, Essential Oxygen. This is organic low abrasion toothpaste. Now, aside from this product, they also had a hydrogen peroxide mouthwash that I have been using with the little sample they gave me. and. I, I like it a lot. I think it's really working because it kills the bacteria in my mouth and I recently got an oral microbiome test that shows I have too many uh, uh, anaerobic bacteria that are not good to have in your mouth and I surmise that many of you guys don't have you know the, the best oral microbiome either. Another company I just picked up samples from, they're closed when I drop by but this is actually called the Quileia Symbiotic. This is an all-in-one optimized digestion. It contains prebiotics probiotics, postbiotics, enzymes, and fermented foods. Um, I really love this product. They, they basically add in a lot of prebiotic fibers, you know, to feed your gut microbiome. This is like next level stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I was really excited when I got this and I'm like, looked it up and I'm like, wow, this stuff is actually good stuff. And this company is really cool. This is actually called the Active Skin Repair. They got a spray on and a hydrosol. So this is like when you get a cut, especially if you have, you know, kids or pets, this is a non-toxic um, thing you can apply to the, to the wound before dressing. So this does not take the place of putting a bandage on it. But basically, you want to sterilize your wound, wash it, spray some of this on or put some of the hydrogel on. It basically will mimic uh, you know, some of the ways your skin works to heal and speed up the healing process. This is also this is a consumer version of a version used in hospitals using the same technology. And it's uh, yeah, active. Uh, skin repair. I'll try to put links down below to these products. Next up we got this guy. This is the Zen Biome Cope and this is really cool. This is special like probiotic with a few other vitamins. This is the Bifidobacteria Longum 1714. This is a patented studied probiotic that has been shown to elevate your mood and better your sleep. Uh, you know so I was supposed to go to the, one of the talks I was actually going wanted to go to but I missed was actually uh, you know from going over published studies on this and some of the research they've done on this specific probiotic. I think it's very important if you do take probiotics, you may want to make sure you get named strains uh, you know that can have specific health benefits. Along the line of probiotics, I was happy to find this company from Australia. Um, this is actually called the uh, Bungie Probiotic Baby Wipes, <laughs> which actually have probiotics on it for wiping your baby's, you know, tush, or maybe even your dog, or even yourself. So I got one of those two. And actually, I think, oh, and then I got this stuff. Talk to these guys. This is the Elevate Hydrogen Water. So I personally drink usually deuterium water, low deuterium water, um, but this is actually uh, water infused with hydrogen. Um, and I, I'm a big fan of that. There's lots of published published studies on water infused with hydrogen. Now you can get an inexpensive, cheap, Chinese-made hydrogen generator to enhance the hydrogen levels in your water. I don't recommend the ones from China. If you do want to get one, I would recommend the ones from Korea, which is what I own, or the ones from Japan that are even more expensive. 
but this is kind of cool. Um, you know, if you are and looking for bottled water somewhere, you know, I would choose the Elevate over most other bottled waters myself. Now, the last two products I want to go over, uh, Kiefer Lab. So I'm, I was happy that Kiefer Lab was here at this event. Unfortunately, you know, the event closed at six yesterday for part of it, and I got there at five, and their booth was just totally gone. So I was saddened I could not film for them. Um, and share with you guys what they're doing and you know how they're expanding now since my original video I visited them in their original facility in San Francisco many years ago link down below to that video this is my favorite fermented food product because it's like you know miles above the other products so for example the Kiefer Lab this is a hundred trillion CFU through the time of expiration, very important, through the time of expiration. And uh, this has 45 different probiotic strains. For example, you know, this supplement has one probiotic strain with uh, 5 billion uh, CFU per capsule. This whole bottle has 100 trillion, 45 different types. And I did verify that when I visited their facility by looking at their test data. Link down below to that video. Now the cool thing is, you know, why I like this so much is because this is like light years ahead of other Kiefer products. Number one, this is vegan and clean. It's made from coconut uh, water and like coconut milk. And then, you know, here's some other products. So this is the Lifeway Kiefer, which is not a dairy product. And this one only said, this one claims 120 billion, right? 120 billion or 100 trillion. That's a hundred times more probiotics, more or less, in this product than this product that has lots of other additives and things and of course is derived from milk. You wanna get the vegan version, you know, the Bio-K, this company here. Oh, and then this one has like maybe 12 or 13 strains. Once again, this has 45. And these are published strains sourced from Europe and Italy. And then this one, you know, the Bio-K, that's a popular brand. You could buy this in most health food stores. I think this has like three proprietary strains and this one may have only like, I don't know, 80 billion or something. So still, you know, these, these guys are really not even competition. They're just like totally, <laughs> totally different products. So yeah, I mean, that's why I really love the Kiefer Lab. Link down below to my original video where I visit Kiefer Lab and go in depth and share more about them. And then of course, finally, my last product I want to show you guys today is the Big Picture Foods. They love me there, I love them for what they're doing. They're really trying to elevate you guys and get you guys more uh, you know, fermented probiotic foods in your life. So let me see what they gave me here. All right, so in this box, they gave me their live olives. They know I'm into raw vegan foods and these are fermented, not pasteurized olives, guys. So these are the ones I eat predominantly in my house. I'll basically peel off the label, I'll drain out the liquid, I'll put some water in there, let it soak a couple, five, ten minutes, pour off my soap water. This kind of removes additional salt and then I'll chop these up and put them into my salads and soups. You know, they give me a few different ones, the Kalmata, they gave me the Greek mix, and they gave me, oh, the banana peppers. So they also have the peppers and capers that are high quality. Also, never heated, very important. These are found in the refrigerated section, and of course, they also will ship them to you from their website. If you guys can't find them near you, uh, link down below to their website. And then, you know, they just came out with their new packaged products that are now being picked up by Whole Foods and Sprouts. These are the shelf-stable products, guys. These are not raw but still very high quality. They basically take their raw fermented product and then they lightly heat them up to put them in a bottle because they already have a low pH because of the fermentation process. They able to minimize and reduce the heating time and temperature to the lowest possible, you know, to preserve the most nutrients and process these minimally. They also have other olive products in packages these days that in my opinion will be a lot higher quality than other olives that you buy that may have additives and other preservatives in there. They're literally taking their fermented product and then you know gently applying heat for the minimum amount of time to keep a better product texture. Big picture foods, they make the best olives, capers, and other you know peppers that are fermented. Better stores like Irwan would sell them, but unfortunately these uh, you know 
Regeneratively farmed products are unfortunately not in most places, but you can order them on their website. So I think that's pretty much it for this episode of this year's Expo West 2024. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to check my other Expo West and East episodes. Links down below to all the years I've been coming. Every year I always find the best handful of booths to show you guys the best products so you guys could live healthfully in this consumer society. Once again, at the end of this episode, I really want to encourage you guys to be a producer instead of a consumer and make as many things as you can. Hey, if there's olive trees in your neighborhood, harvest your own olives, ferment them naturally like they would in big picture food so that you don't have to. But if you're like me and you don't want to do every, make every little thing, hey, I'm glad for some of the companies that take it to the next level and make the highest quality foods so that you guys can enjoy them. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. More importantly, share this with other people that are into eating health foods so that they could learn the healthiest foods at this year's Natural Products Expo. Also, be sure to click the subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes. I've come out every five to seven days. So you don't know where I show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check the past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 800 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to you guys all about how to eat the healthiest plant-based diet around. So with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.